Hi Virgo, welcome to your general forecast for the month of April. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, welcome and thank you. So Virgo, we are going to take a look at the energy around you at this time. And we're going to take whatever comes out here. So it could be general, it could be love, it could be work, career, finance, it could be anything. So we're just going to take it as it comes. So this is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter, male or female watching. Could be past, present, or future, so please keep that in mind. And please only take how it resonates for you. It may or may not resonate at all, so please keep that in mind. If it's not your story, please don't try to make it fit. And then leave me a lot of comments on how it's not accurate or blah, blah, because I'll just delete those comments. So please keep that in mind. If it's not resonating for you, it's not your story. End of story. <laughs> so anyway... Um, you can check the description box below for your Love in General playlist if you'd like to go back and watch previous readings. I do consider them timeless, so if you see a title that catches your eye, I say watch it. And also down there in the description box, uh, if you'd like to reach out for personal reading, that info is below. Decks I'm using and links to purchase them for yourself if you'd like to. Social media links. Um, and if you'd like to tip, donate, send a gift or energy exchange, that info is below. And if you're not comfortable using PayPal as energy exchange or tip donation during the premiere, Super Chat is open and available for tips, donations, or energy exchanges only. So keep that in mind. And if you do, thank you so much. Okay, so Virgo, hope everybody's doing well. Welcome, welcome. Hope everybody's staying safe and healthy at this time. So Virgo, this is a Zodiac Oracle, so we get a sign, element, or planet for you. And we'll see how uh, that plays out in your reading. So take this only how it resonates for you. you. May or may not this part, so we'll see. For Virgo, what do we have for Virgo spirit, please, at this time? Thank you so much. Sign, element, or planet. And we have Neptune, which I believe is... Pisces. I thought it was Scorpio for a minute. It's Pisces. So some of you could be dealing with a Pisces, maybe a Pisces in your chart, Pisces in the tarot and the uh, major arcana does represent two different uh, cards. It represents the moon and it represents the high priestess. And they're both basically about listening to intuition and trusting your gut. Uh, the moon can be about secrets or illusions, fear, deep feelings, cycles, um, and the high priestess is about can be about secrets also and uh, listening to your intuition and that kind of energy also so we'll see how that plays out but the en uh, energy of neptune is about imagination compassion psychic experiences and balancing energy so we'll see how that plays into your reading so this deck here virgo first thing i'm going to do is get like an opening message for you and then I'll get another one for your energy, whatever it may be for some of you. And then we'll clarify that energy with the tarot. And then we'll look at the current situation you're in, whatever situation comes out here, advice for that situation, possible outcome. And then um, we'll get some extra messages with the work of the light at the end. All right. So let's get an opening message for Virgo at this time. Spirit, please. Thank you so much. Oh. One on the fly. Opening message for Virgo, please. Thank you so much. Opening message for Virgo. There we go. Now let's see what we have. The Swan Queen, transformation, intuition, and patience. And Neptune is all about that psychic experiences and intuition, higher knowing, gut feelings. And we have 13 there, which is four. Four is about stability, uh, foundation. So if you're going through a transformation right now, you may be going from, you know, a black swan to a white swan. Um, and if you're going through a transformational time or a transition or a change, um, it's telling you to have patience with yourself and healing energy and listen to your intuition, your higher knowing whatever transformation you are going through right now. So Neptune is 21, which is three. And then we have 13, which is four. So three, four. So we're going uh, in progression here. So it's a good energy. 
So I'm getting like a calm, peaceful kind of energy with this uh, card. So yeah, I think it's telling you, oh, I gotta do the bottom of the deck. So I think it's telling you here to be calm, peaceful, patient, listen to your intuition as you, whatever transformation you're going through right now. So let's see what's on the bottom. The camel boy, small steps asking for help. So we have 33 there, which is six. It, well, three is about teamwork, collaboration, people coming together. And then if you add that together, it's six. You may want to look up the angel number 33. But if you do add that together, uh, it's six. It's about healing and balancing energy. So, you know, take small steps. Don't rush this transformation, this change, whatever it is for you. Um, if you need help, advice, guidance, don't be afraid to ask. Um, friends, family, um, professional help of some kind um, or something like that. So don't be afraid or even social groups online. Don't be afraid to ask for help in any way, shape or form that you feel like you need it. And don't be afraid to take baby steps, small steps through this uh, transformation. All right. So let's see. Oh, you know what? And I forgot to get what is wrong with me. <laughs> I'm going to leave that there for the bottom, but I forgot to get your opening energy. Oh, I'm losing it. Okay. All right. There we go. <laughs> I'm going to leave this here. All right. So let's see what your energy is here. The keeper of the scales, fairness and balance. And we have 38 there, which is 11. If you add that, add that together, that's two. Is about unity. So this kind of reminds me of the justice card. So if you're going through something in the justice system and you're waiting for fairness and balance and outcome um, or a judgment or something like that. Um, I feel like fairness and balance, justice is coming. It may be taking um, some time here, especially with the small steps, asking for help. You know, again, that could be legal help. Um, maybe it's just taking, you know, a very long time and you're wondering, gee, you know, it's like oh, just a little step forward, you know, instead of a big leap. So again, it's telling you to be patient and listen to your intuition. So both cards here, very white, colorful, peaceful, transitional um, energy. So, and I did say over here, 33, six, six is about healing and balance. So the only number we have missing is five because we have 38 reduces to two and then we have three and then we have four and then we have two sixes here. So the only number missing is five <laughs> and five is about the change. So I feel like this total change hasn't happened yet. All right. Whatever you're waiting on, whatever transition this is for you, Virgo. All right, so let's clarify this energy for you, Virgo. What is this all about? So we have the Empress and Temperance. Wow. It can be Emperor, Empress, male or female. But this is someone who knows their value and their worth. Um, you know, it could be someone who owns a business or a high ranking boss, someone who is a leader kind of energy. The Empress usually gives birth to new things, could be a motherly figure or a fatherly figure here. Also could be a mother here because we do have a child here over here waiting on some sort of news or decision about a family situation here. Cause we do have this, which reminds me of justice. But we do have temperance here, which is about peace, harmony, balance, um, patience, again, coming through here. So really telling you to be patient through this time. I do see luck and expansion with the rainbow. And again, this is balance, balancing out energy, tempering, peace, harmony, healing energy, divine timing. All right, so let's see. What else, what else, what else here for you, Virgo? 
Seven, yeah, waiting. Seven of Pentacles. Waiting on something here. Waiting on something. An answer. Usually this is about assessing, evaluating, um, analyzing kind of energy. Invested in something, but now you're just waiting. What else here? Strength. So needing to be strong, courageous, and brave. Having willpower, determination. Um, and this willpower to hold back. Will power to hold on, remaining strong and resilient in this energy here. So what else do we have here? Nine of Pentacles. So maybe some of you are becoming single here. Being independent, secure, and grounded, having everything you need, taking care of yourself. And then we do have the Queen of Swords. This could be a legal advisor. It could be a lawyer, it could be a judge, it could be an official of some kind, a wise advisor. But then the king, queen, and the ace of swords always reminds me of that divine energy, like divine intervention energy, bringing uh, truth and clarity. Swords are all about truth, clarity, uh, honest communication, using the sword to cut away things no longer serving you, standing up for yourself, not taking any kind of BS kind of energy either. So I feel like some of you are needing, you're trying to remain strong and res resilient as you're waiting on something here. Some of you could be single here and independent. So you're either waiting on a settlement of some kind. Maybe you're a single parent. And this could be some sort of legal counselor, advisor, a judge or something. So... Let's see here. Actually, you know what? Let's get your actual situation and then we'll know what's going on here. What is the actual situation here for Virgo? What is the actual situation here for Virgo, please? Karma, 20 here. So this is judgment. And I had felt that when I, I said that earlier, if you're waiting for um, a, like a judgment on something, this is judgment. So I feel like you're waiting, it's right on the Seven of Pentacles. So I feel like you're waiting on a judgment call on something, probably in the justice system in some way, shape, or form, or something with legalities. And you're like waiting, uh, waiting here for that Ten of Swords. So there was some kind of ending here. Some kind of ending, something that you probably didn't see coming. So for some of you, it could be a divorce and you're becoming a single parent and you're waiting on the judgment call of maybe um, custody or monetary or something like that. Knight of Cups. So this is something moving. Usually the Knight of Cups is someone moving forward in a loving energy. So let's get a couple more which are actual situations here. Why is the knight why is the knight of cups here? Now we have the emperor. So now we have a matching couple. So we have the empress and the emperor here. So we have divine counterparts here. Emperor or empress, but we do have both energies here anyway. It's like someone is looking at this emperor or empress here and like offering the cup and the other one's just looking at it because they're coming away from this ending here. Let's get one more. What's going on here? What's going on here for Virgo? Mental entrapment. Stuck. Someone stuck in their head about something here. The Eight of Swords. So I, f I feel like somebody could be getting divorced and then wanting to offer their cup to somebody else, but they're waiting on something to do with money or a custody situation here before they can move on to their emperor or empress. But somebody is stuck in their head. So it's either you or the person you want to move towards is stuck in their head about you. Or you're stuck in your head about them, either way. Or you're just stuck in your head altogether about the whole situation. 
knowing you have to become single first before you can move into this new, move on to this new uh, person that you feel is your divine counterpart here. Judgment card in the temperance angel usually bring, because the karma, it says karma, but it's judgment. So that can be about resurrection. It can be about forgiveness, making a final decision, a judgment call. I feel like you feel like you have a very strong bond with somebody also, but you know you need to become single first. Or are you just waiting on... You know, if it's not a divorce, it just could be something where you're, you're waiting for some reason on some sort of judgment call on something here before you can move on for some reason. You could have to do some something with the child. All right, so let's see what we have here. Oh, so we got the four of pentacles, which is about, yeah, you're holding back. You're holding on to what you have. It could be monetary. So yeah, you're holding on, trying to save. Maybe having a little bit of monetary lack. But also you could be holding back from something, a situation. Now we have the five of cups, which is about loss and sadness. Maybe regret, remorse kind of energy. And then we have the Queen of Cups, which is a very loving, caring, nurturing, giving kind of energy. And I placed it right on the Eight of Swords. Somebody is stuck on someone they have a lot of love for, but they're holding back. Either because there's been sadness and loss here, especially with the Ten of Swords here. And they're waiting for... It's like they're waiting for their karma. And I don't mean in a bad way, like in a good way. Like they're waiting for what is owed to them or rightly theirs. Or again, something to do with money or children or a divorce or something like that. And they need to go through this full transformation. And I feel like it's taken a long time before they can move on. All right, so... Let's see, is there anything else? It's a little confusing. So I just did three more, uh, three other readings before this, and they were very clear. They almost felt like personal readings, and this feels like a little jumbled up. So I may be getting a lot of mixed messages for different people here. King of Wands, so very fiery, passionate energy here, king or queen. And I placed it right on the emperor. So it's like we have this man or woman here, offering their cup to this other man or woman who is very fiery, passionate kind of energy also. Yeah, I feel like somebody is holding back from moving on because uh, they can't yet because they're not fully out of something and fully transformed and able to move on from that. So they're kind of stuck where they are for now until they either get some sort of settlement or custody or a divorce is final but it's saying here fairness is coming so what is the advice for Virgo whatever your situation is is saying small steps and ask for help also but there will be fairness and balance what is the advice the hanged man and the chariot well we got two opposing energies here. <laughs> the chariot is about moving forward successfully a lot of drive, ambition, balance, but yet we have the hanged man, which is about taking a break, a pause, being still and gaining new perspectives and enlightenment before moving on. So thank you. So before you move on, you have to, before you move on and move forward successfully. Okay. So let's get a few more so I can give the full message. So you have to wait before you can move on successfully. That's exactly what it's saying. All right. So what else here for Virgo? Yeah, to your brand new <laughs> successful beginning here. The Ace of Pentacles, divinely guided, secure, stable, grounded, new beginning of some kind for the long term, some kind of long term 
thing for you here will lead to a lot of growth, abundance here. So it could be anything, the Ace of Pentacles, it could be a new job, a new career, that money coming in, maybe that you're waiting on. But there is heartbreak here. Heartbreak. Something hurts your heart. So whatever heartache or pain that you had with the Three of Swords here from the past, I feel like whatever happened in that situation that caused you a lot of pain, um, you're just waiting for something from that. So again, it's either a monetary settlement or a custody or a divorce or something here. So you, so it's telling you to wait, wait, healing yourself and transforming out of the heartache and pain and waiting before you can move forward with this brand new beginning. It's very stable and grounded. So if it's a new job, career, or a new person, or moving, or something like that, I mean, this could be moving also. I think you still need to wait, wait here with the hangman. And I see the pentacle here. And here's the pentacle. So the pentacle is coming. So let's see what your possible outcome. For some of you, I feel like you want to move forward to somebody else. For some of you, you're waiting for a settlement. So um, you can be financially set, getting what is rightfully yours. Some of you could be custody of a child. Some of you may be, you know, waiting to move for some reason. Waiting for, you know, something monetary to come in so that you can move. All right. So what is the possible outcome here for Virgo? Okay. So we have the Six of Swords, the Star. Wow. This is good energy. So we have the Six of Swords. So here is some of you moving um, to a better place. Moving out of the BS to karma more calmful, peaceful waters. So some of you will be moving to a better place. Some of you are going into a divinely guided connection of some kind. There will be healing here. So you will be healing, uh, having faith, hope, and optimism, wishes and dreams coming true. And then some of you will be getting that windfall that you're waiting for settlement, monetary settlement of, of some kind being set with the 10 of pentacles, never having to worry much for your future being financially set. So that's what I feel. And I felt those three energies and here's the three energies confirming for the six of swords. Somebody will be, some of you will be moving and I see uh, children here too. So some of you will be getting custody of a child or children getting, you know, money that is owed to you. Some of you will be entering a divinely guided connection also and wishes and dreams coming true for all I feel. Wow. So let's see if there's any other messages that want to come out for Virgo before we go over the bottom of the deck. Any other messages for Virgo, for Virgo, for Virgo? I don't think so. I think that's about it. Okay, let's see what's at the bottom. Now we have the Queen of Wands. So we have the King and Queen of Wands here. It's a matching couple, divine counterparts. And we did have the Emperor and the Empress here. So somebody is going into a divine counterpart uh, connection here. It's divinely guided. Matching couples twice. Well, three times. No, twice. The hermit energy here. So some, a lot of people waiting here. Going in solitary mode and waiting, waiting for something to come in here. Being a little stressed, worried about the situation that you're in. But here comes the offer. Here comes the news of the monetary or something that you've been waiting on. So here comes a very uh, stable news coming in. Some getting custody or joint custody or something here with children. Is what I feel. Whoop. So, and then we do have commitment here with the high priestess. So some going into a commitment with the divine counterpart. Wishes and dreams coming true. Fulfillment in every single way. Again, we have the children again here. Um, yeah, I don't feel like those fit. So children again, so some getting custody of their children. Some have uh, their money getting, uh, getting the money owed to them kind of energy. They're feeling stressed and worried because maybe nothing's happening at the time. 
some will be going into a divine counterpart um, relationship. And I do see fate and destiny with the wheel, divine timing, fate, fortune, the, <laughs> the sun, happiness, joy, success, children, again, victory in every single way, enlightenment, healing, happy home and family kind of energy. So, and I do feel some will be moving also. So signs I see, uh, let's see, we have Leo, we have Taurus, uh, let's see, Virgo, and the Queen of Wands here, which is Aries. The Empress is um, Libra and Taurus, Sagittarius, Aquarius, let's see, Cancer, Pisces, Queen of Cups here is Cancer, King of Wands here is um, Sagittarius, the Emperor is Aries, the Knight of Cups is Scorpio, let's see, Scorpio again, Leo again, the Queen of Swords here is Libra, and that's the justice energy again. So a lot of different energies here. I'm feeling justice will be served no matter what your situation is here, uh, Virgo, whether it's love, something to do with children, money, or moving. Justice will be served. All right. Let's get some. I'm feeling just as served. Be patient. <laughs> Be patient. Well, we got three here. So what do we have? We have Godmother and a grandmother of Jesus and seeding the light, laying foundations, divine plan. So again, divine counterparts, laying foundations for a new beginning, new cycle in life, seeding the light. So um, sowing seeds and new growth, expansion. Sisterhood of the Rose, Beauty and Devotion, Priestess, Mystic, Teacher. So I feel like here, again, listening to your intuition, again, because we had High Priestess come out and intuition there. So listening to your intuition, being devoted to the process, learning, you know, teacher being the student and the teacher and learning. And we have yes, so just say yes. So the answer is yes here in this uh, situation for you, Virgo. So let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. And we have answer the call. What is your soul calling you to do? So whatever your, call, your soul is calling you to do, whether it's going into this new uh, divine counterpart connection, moving, um, gaining custody or joint custody of your children or waiting for this money to come in or settlement or something um do what you feel like you need to do virgo okay virgo best of luck to you uh sending you many light love and blessings and as i always say with my channel is to always always shine your light